I chose Sabanja University because it came highly recommended to me. Uh, many people told me that Sabanja had a great conflict program, both people in Turkey and also in the U.S., namely my previous professors. People told me that this was a good program and also that I would be a good fit. When I was researching master's programs, I really wanted something that was going to help me to think outside of the box and be different from my previous education in the U.S. Um, however, I still needed something that was uh, highly academic and a rigorous curriculum, so I was able to find that balance at Sabanja. I chose Sabanj University for three main reasons. First of all, uh, it's uh, one of the best, most resourceful and most reputatious universities in Turkey and also in the whole Middle East and East Europe. Uh, second, the faculty members and academics here are uh, world-class publishers who publish in a journals. And as a PhD student, uh, I would learn the necessary skills from them to publish in these journals and guarantee my academic success. And finally, uh, the university provides excellent financial resources to students in their academic and non-academic activities. Uh, you could get uh, financial support from the university for activities ranging from attending uh, scientific conferences to uh, having dancing classes that are held in the university campus. One of the reasons is that uh, normally universities don't give you scholarship at master's level. So here at Sabanji, uh, you have no financial problem and you have scholarship in engineering. The second reason was that uh, the uh, field I'm working in, it's uh, a combination of mechatronics and computer science. So it's the only university which has this lab, which has two professors uh, supervising it. And so it is the main reason I came here. The most rewarding part of my education here is well-equipped laboratories which facilitates me to proceed my research. Also, network between university and industries makes it superior among the other universities in Turkey and also the region. The most rewarding part of my education here has been the community and the relationships that I've formed. Um, the peers and the faculty at Sabanja are all very supportive and interested in you as a person. Uh, the class sizes are small and the programs are small. Everyone knows your name and they know who you are. So I've been really pleased with uh, all the different people that I've been able to work with and meet and feel a part of a community here. In my case, the most rewarding uh, thing at Sabanji would be the experience of doing masters itself because uh, graduate studies uh, are really different compared to bachelor studies uh, because of the research aspect of the graduates. Uh, because research is completely different to what we are doing in bachelors and it's like an ocean and you just have to find your own way. Uh, apart from that, of course the professors, they are really highly qualified and they know the stuff they are working on, they are one of the best in their fields. I could say they have reality and purity. They, are, they have reality in the sense that uh, they, are, they have been graduated from the uh, top-ranked universities and uh, they are mostly well-known in their field of expertise. And they have purity in the sense that uh, they do their best to support students, to help them in their careers and academic issues and lead them and put them in the right path. At Sabanja University are really great. Um, the classes are really small, so all of your professors know who you are and know your name. It's a kind and supportive relationship between students and faculty here. Um, I also have felt very comfortable with the faculty um, compared to my, uh, my education in the U.S. Um, a lot of the faculty here are educated in the U.S., which makes it very similar. The teaching style, the curriculum are all very similar to a U.S. institution. So uh, American students here, I think, feel very comfortable uh, getting their education here. So the best part about uh, faculty over here is like, first and foremost, like, they are really knowledgeable. Uh, they actually know about the state of the art research going uh, in, the, the in their respective fields. Uh, and it's actually quite helpful for the students who are doing their masters or their PhD under those professors. Uh, apart from their knowledge, uh, 
they are also quite generous uh, and quite helpful. Uh, so for instance if you have some problems, uh, they would obviously guide you uh, and they would try to solve the problem with you. Like it's not uh, completely up to you to solve the problem, they would, I mean if you get stuck, they would always help you. Well, here downloading and reading books and articles is easy with accessing to free unlimited internet and library resources. Also, uh, getting permission to access to laboratories and equipment uh, is very easy to everyone. Uh, during our studies, uh, because we are in robotics lab and we need resources or robots and uh, stuff, so there is a lab uh, separate from our lab. Uh, it's like a workshop. We can get anything they have, every component, circuits, everything there. But if they don't have the part we need, uh, there is a fund uh, which every professor has and they can spend it on the lab and we get everything we want. So it's not a problem about resources. So we don't have to care about the resources, we just do our work. I really enjoyed the facilities in this school. Uh, I, for the six years, I had a full scholarship with a decent stipend. Uh, I was paid for all the national and uh, international conferences that I attended. I had access to all the scientific journals and databases that uh, were necessary for my research. Some of these databases are very expensive and most universities don't have access to it. So I feel really lucky to be here and have access to these databases. And in the dormitory, I really enjoyed the facilities there as well. So we had, there were cleaning facilities uh, on a daily and weekly basis. Learning part was the most uh, challenging part, but I think it was a positive challenge. Uh, I had to spend a lot of time and effort to learn and uh, to become up to date and to keep up to date. But uh, it was a positive challenge because uh, at the end of the day, uh, prior to my graduation, uh, I'm a competitive camp uh, candidate in the job market. So I see it as a good positive challenge that I had here. Um, the curriculum at Sabanja is very challenging. There's a lot expected from you and the coursework is very large. There's a lot of work, a lot of stuff to do. Part of my program, I was required to do an internship um, and doing an internship in Turkey was a different kind of challenge for me. I've never worked in the Turkish uh, professional environment before. I had to find my own internship, apply for it, interview, um, and then actually work in the office. Um, it was a challenge, but one that I really benefited from. I gained a lot of skills, a lot of experiences, and overall I really enjoyed my internship. Since graduate students are working as teacher assistants here, keeping ourselves up to date is absolutely critical. Also, professors are encouraging you to step out of your comfort zone by learning uh, about advanced and new equipments and publishing papers.